and welcome back to all the mods, guys. As you can see before me, I am gazing longingly at the farms down there. Now, you can see them. You know, they're in a nice little grid. Pretty simple. Six farms. Um, and let me get this rose out of here. This rose is pretty cool. Uh, I need to automate them. Actually, I have to figure out how... <laughs> How to automate them the best now i was thinking of using the same kind of system i have for the 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 carrot farm you know what? i haven't even shown you guys everything that's gone on here i mean this is ridiculous can I, can I just... all right so you guys remember you know this it, it hasn't changed too much however i have added back here because without showing you this building there's a building up there that i need to supply things to so that's what these are for there's some crafters we're going to be all those farm six farms are going to come over to a separate network that's going to be right here. Um, and I might actually widen this. I'm not sure because I might need some more space for Batania. Because as you can see, Batania has not changed at all. However, comma pause. I did solve one of my problems by using uh, blaze lamps. Oh, did that take it? Yeah. Uh, in the uh, long range breaker, it can actually break the blocks. I'm so happy. Because let me tell you guys, Obsidian is a pain in the butt. Just damn. Um, but anyways, I did want to show a couple things. A couple changes, a couple changes, a couple changes. Um, I've dug out a lot of places here. Um, nothing back. I'm trying to think. Nothing back there. Okay. Uh, I have did some changes on the machines because I was having problems with things filtering in properly. We, of course, have our batteries here. We had a problem the other day where... Sorry about the choppiness because it apparently... I, I don't know. Uh, a couple of these generators were misconfigured. Like, see, like this one? There's one right here. It it, it, it seems like it's being mis... Like, it's forgetting it. Like, so look, it, it's, it's forgetting its configuration. That's front, that's out, that's in. That should be right. What is it missing? It's missing water. Right? Let's see. Water insert no it has water it's I have no idea what it's busy I, I don't know what it is with mechanisms things they seem really buggy okay that's extracting do you have water you've got water oh there we go it resets this thing right here just don't um for some reason, it'll reset this thing right here, and I don't know why. Um, I it, I don't think it's server resets because I don't think the servers. Uh, I don't think the servers. Yeah, it's really choppy over here. Uh, so I might actually consider moving if I could find a good, efficient way to transmit this power because they they're fine with these cables, but it, mechanisms cables themselves I can't seem to really get to work. I would like to move this away from everything up here. Anyway. Uh, it, so it resets every now and then, which gives me that problem where it's not creating fuel. Uh, uh, this over here is our lava. We, we put it together this little lava factory thing. It makes one block of lava every now and then. And that machine above it connects it, which holds eight blocks of lava, which is now connected to our lava grid. So anytime we need lava, we just come in here and go, I need a bucket of lava. Boink! I have a bucket of lava. Yay! Now, of course, I can't put the bucket of lava back because I don't have fluid storage. <laughs> Because I've been working non-stop on storage cells. Woo! Yay! Did it ever finish? No, of course not. Missing a basic process. God. Um, but that's what's basically been going on in here. And you guys know, of course, down here. Now, I've also added this little area right here. Um, it's behind this wall. This is the machine that basically feeds that machine out there. Um, I've added this in here, which I can cover that up now. But to give you an example of what it can do... Uh, let's say, you know, because I need soul sand. Soul sand is a pain in my butt sometimes. Oops. Soul sand. Never have enough soul sand. Now, I have 112 right now, so it's kind of pointless. But what I do is I go in here, and I say, go ahead and uh, craft me up 10 soul sand. And then it starts dropping the sand. That thing turns it into soul sand. That thing collects it, sends it into the machine, as you can see. Soul. See? We're going up. That's awesome. I love automation. Automation, the best. Um, and that little beam doesn't really consume any power. 
So, but that's what's there. Um, there we go. I was like, why isn't it not going? Yeah, let's go up and over here. So you guys remember our spawners? Well, they've updated. Let's go over here so you can get a good broad view of it right now. So over here, we have glowing lights of lightiness. Let's get rid of those. Um, this is a chicken farm. This is, I'll explain why that we have a chicken farm, okay? I mean, it's, 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 it's okay. There's a chicken farm. Uh, wither spawn, or wither skeleton. Blaze. Very self-explanatory. Uh, witch. There we go. <laughs> and, of course, the chicken. Now, these farms are done using, um, there we go, uh, soul cages. So this uses soul shards, the old ways, and these are all tier five spawners controlled by this little redstone block, and that's just there because it looks cool. Um, so if I walk over to this lever and I hit the button, it'll just start dropping them. And it's tier five, so it will, if I leave, it will keep spawning. It doesn't need a player here. And it also doesn't need... I need to... Did I not put in your sound muffler? Maybe I did. I'm not sure, but as you can see, the mob grinder in the back... Turn that off. You. The mob grinder in the back is what's doing all this killing, and, you know, it's not even closely relating. And this has the lowest power cables, so it's only getting a little bit of power. This is the item filled, you know, pulls the items in, as well as you saw in here, Killer Joe. Now, Killer Joe only consumes his nutrient distillation if he's attacking with his sword. Since he's not, he just sits there and absorbs XP. That's what he's there for. So this, all this XP is getting saved and sent into our little ender tank over here that used to be used for canola oil. It's no longer done. There's our little ender pearl farm, because how are we doing on ender pearls anyway? Last night we had 360. Okay, yeah, we're doing great. You got, you're doing great. Great job. You are. A... Okay. I really wish there was a. Uh, I remember machines where you could farm without having hoes in them all the time. It's kind of annoying. And that one especially, I don't like. But it's. I don't think the other farm. I don't know. I gotta test that to see if the farmer that I use for all my other farms can work on those seeds. Um, yeah, <laughs> I have to think about that now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so, but today, as you can see, I tried making snow because I want to, I want this, I want to do something with this floor and I like white floors to these contrasting colors, but I can't find this block right here. I'd have to set up an entire machine just to harvest it because this is rare. Um, I don't like this because I use it inside here. You can see the wall. Um, and marble is even harder to freaking find. I had some over there, but it's not there anymore. Um, and I was like, ah, oh, could you snow? Well, apparently because of, you know, mob griefing being off, I can't make snow. So what I decided to do with these was I'm going to be making a spawner. I haven't decided. See, this is where the problem comes. Do I go down with spawners or do I go out continuously? I go continuously, I gotta figure out a place for all this stuff. You know, all these machines and all this stuff, and I gotta still gotta figure out something to do with all these spawners. You know, this, our little sugarcane wheat, uh, um, cactus, sugarcane cactus farm. I, I need to figure out what to do with those, but I have a cool system that I wanted to set up to actually spawn the wither and kill the wither. Um, that's better than my crappy little one, because... Right now, with I ran that thing for like, I don't know, an hour. We were watching, me and Lily sat down and watched some TV. Look at this. Skull. 380 Wither Skeleton Skulls. I think we're good. Um, The other side, let's see, what else? What, man, we've been doing so much. I can't go outside because we haven't really done, I haven't done anything outside. And I don't want to show off Lily's builds. So, let's see, can I get out of here? There we go. Uh, As you can see, here's the kitchen's still there. Um, farm. Yeah, I'm just staring, actually. I'm trying. <laughs> I literally lost my train of thought. I was like, huh? Um, what was I going to do? 
Oh, crafter. I wanted to set up a crafter. A tier... Uh, let's see, a tier one has two recipes. I need it to be able to turn logs into planks. And just, okay, so I need a tier two crafter, and which is really cool because I already set these things up. Crafter, uh, tier two, go ahead and make it. And as you can see down here, it's making, it's thinking. And it's done. <laughs> I apparently need... What did I need in here? Basic processor. Do I not have any basic processors? Let's see. Basic processor. That's an advanced processor. I apparently do not have any basic processors. You know what basic processors take? Iron. Which is really cool because I'm going to go ahead and cook up some more iron. Because never need enough iron. Um, let's go ahead and make 32 of those. How's our silicon looking? Uh, let's go ahead and make up... Wait, hold on. Let's just make up 64 of those. I wish I could figure out a good way to automate these, but because of the version we're using... You know, let me go ahead and get another stack of... A half stack of iron. Uh, the version we're using, they're really finicky on how they input. You have to input from specific sides each. So I'd, it, it's, it's kind of a pain in the butt to do, but let's see. As you can see, there's three points. So this is me facing the front of it, actually. Just like this one is facing against this pillar. And to get in the, you know, this top slot, I think it is, you go into this side, the middle slots, and from the front, it, it's just really complicated, and eventually we're probably going to update, but I, I'm just, not, I'm not worried about it. I don't use it that much. Um, yeah, not that much. Uh, here's where our expert, <laughs> we only have 322 levels, it's not a lot, I know, I'm a little concerned about it myself. Um, <laughs> but yeah, that's basically what I've been working on, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up and try to set up a um, crafting system because, as you guys can tell, this farm, all these farms run off obsidian hose. And as you can look in here, oh, hey, whoa, watch there, buddy. Um, I have 21 hose in this thing. Now, the odds of me running out of these hose is pretty slim because their obsidian hose have 8,000 uses, but... I'm going to also be having a lot of farms now because not only if you guys recall, right? <laughs> fly. There we go. Up, up, up. All right, we go. We got these two farms plus the farms over here. And now because she added those, those little farms she wants out of farmed, there's two farms each going to be over here. So that's going to be an additional six farms, eight, I can't count today, guys, eight farms that I'm going to have to make sure that I have hose. So with that being said, we need to make sure that this thing never runs out of hose. And to do that, we're going to do a crafter. Now, you're right. You know, they're a little different than these. These are called, you know, these are called crafters as well. Uh, but they work with refined storage where I put in the command here and say, hey, make me this. These are very different, as we've showed in the past. Pretty sure I showed in the past. Um, they need power. They do require power. But, let's see. How can I work it? Ah, ah. Okay, so I have... I can run it right there. Yeah. Wait. No. Yeah. No. No. Can't run it there. Um, that's such a... All right, well, give me a minute, guys. I'm going to set this up. And I'm going to go get all the stuff so you don't have to sit there and watch me grab all the stuff. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys, I am back. And we have now a powered thing. I just I had to make some conduit because apparently I forgot to conduit. And I had to make one of these. Now, what this thing is, is this takes um, whatever I tell this thing right here. Like, if I put in andesite, like, I could literally put it in right here. If I put andesite in there and I go over to this machine, it's going to start filling it up with you know, incorrect versions of the stuff, but <laughs> I hate that. The The one thing I don't like is apparently the IDs, it, it doesn't look at the sub ID. So it sees and Dzite as diorite as there's three of them. Anyway, you get the idea. <laughs> um, so anyway, you guys remember how this works. You create a recipe 
Um, what I want, remember the current items in the internal buffer, forget the remember layout. Okay, so what I want to do is in here, um, we're going to need all the recipe ideas. Okay, so first things first, we're going to need obsidian. Very important thing. Okay, so we do obsidian. Um, yeah, we're just, uh, let's, let's grab half a stack um, to work with. We're going to need sticks, which we have tons of, by the way. And we're going to need, uh, let's see, <sighs> planks. And see here, we're going to need planks, so there's four planks. And we're going to need oak. Look, it's 21,000 oak, guys. I think we have enough oak. Now, those are the base ingredients for what we need to do. And we're going to go in here, and we're going to say, okay. So the first thing we're going to do is, do I have enough cobble? I need cobble. What I use cobble for is to limit the amount of resources that this thing is filled up with. Uh, I don't know why I went there, because that's not going to help me. <laughs> there we go. Uh, let's just grab 32 cobble. Uh, it's just good for clearing up, because this whole thing, it has to remember all this stuff. Okay. So the first thing we're going to need is logs. Okay, and we're going to have a space for planks. And a space for obsidian. And it's based for twigs. Now, you're probably wondering why, why I'm doing this, and then I'm going to do this, because I don't want this, because basically what the machine is going to do is I'm going to tell it, I'm going to give it logs and obsidian. It's going to fill this machine up with obsidian at all times. So if I would have let this whole thing just fill up, it would have chunked every obsidian piece I have into here, or every log I have. Now, logs, not that big of a deal. But obsidian is a little harder because I don't have a real true way to, to automate it yet fully. Uh, I have a way to automate it. I just have to, it, you know, it, it's a pain in the butt. Um, so anyway, here's what we're going to do. We're going to do our first recipe is going to be, uh, first recipe is going to be this. Okay. Uh, actually. What's this? All items and input slots are consumed. Okay, hold on. Let's get rid of that. <laughs> because it will start consuming things. <laughs> um, I want to remember the slots. So what that means is it will always only put cobblestone in that slot. And so I, I forgot to do that. What's this thing? I don't even know what this thing is. I'm still learning, guys. The big thing here is this. What we want is we're gonna our first recipe is going to be oak into wood, but we want to keep it on the internal so it stays into the internal buffer as opposed to the external buffer. Because the external buffer is going to be piped out. So we do that. We go to apply. Now, it's immediately going to take that oak and immediately convert it. I don't know why I did it on that recipe. It doesn't matter. I, I like, you know what? It does. It does. I have to fix this. It's up here. Apply. There we go. I, I have to do things in order. It's going to drive me insane. Okay. So our next one, though, is going to be, why did it only make one? Oh, no. I only put one in there. All right. So let's get rid of that one. We're on this one. We're going to take two sticks or two twigs, make a stick. We want an internal buffer, and we're on that one, right? Uh, and apply. Now it's going to immediately turn that stuff into twigs, which is exactly what we want. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I can just clear this one, right? There we go. Oh, shoot. Apply. Um, now, once we've done that, our final recipe is going to be our obsidian hoe, which is boink, boink, and boink, boink. Okay, now we want this one though to go to our X. Wait, what's XC? Uh, we'll go to the output buffer, but remaining items like buckets will stay in the Aussie. That's good to know because I'm going to have to be doing a lot of this because you guys don't understand. This is the breakdown sheet of how I have to do all these cooking machines, which we will get to. Uh, but we want this to go to external buffer. And what that's going to do is it's going to create four. If I, like, if I put this here and. Uh, wait, hold on. Let's, let's pull that out. <laughs> uh, apply. Okay. So now, if I put this logs in here, boom, it's going to immediately make all the stuff it needs to do, and it's going to leave what it can. And as soon as I put this here, boom, it makes four. Now these, I'm going to pipe out to that thing over there. I may just make an ender chest, actually, for that. It might be a better idea. Because then I can put the ender chest... Oh yeah, that might be a better idea. Let's 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 do the under chest idea. Anyway, I'll be back with the under chest. Bye. 
All right, guys, it is done. Now, I I made a mistake. <laughs> see, this chest, we went with a uh, solid gray for our color coding. So as you can see, it's full of obsidian hose, but you'll notice there's still hose in here. And there was 21, and you know these chests can hold a lot. Well, it's because I connected this immediately. You know, as soon as I turned it to export, it drained this thing of all of its resources, making hose, so it filled up the chest. So I got these extra hose, I'll have to rotate in. But basically what what I'm gonna do is if I go into do I gotta make sure I have some of the product. Take an obsidian and we wanna take a log. And I go into this and I go, give me logs and obsidian. It will fill. See how it's already starting to work? And it's gonna sit here and fill up and make sure that those two resources are always available. So this machine will constantly make sure that we have obsidian hose. Gotta have those hose, right? <laughs> uh, that was fun. Um, let's go over there. Uh, now, when, when, when I mentioned obsidian ops automation, it's not as best timing, but basically if you place a blaze lamp near these guys, over time, it will turn into uh, obsidian. And this thing's on a timer that's like, what was it? What did I figure that out to be? A minute and 10 seconds, I think, or something like that. And what, would I, what I do is I go over here and I go, okay, I need blaze lamp. Uh, let's close that. I need blaze lamps. I have 109 of them. I actually want more than that. So I don't apparently have a crafting recipe for blaze lamps so let's instead we'll just do it the long way all right so one two did i really just use up all of my blaze lamps ah, we'll do three we have blaze spawner we don't we don't need this <laughs> all right so anyway what you do is you walk over here and you go okay half stack for you half stack for you Half stack for you, half stack for you. Now the first six are probably because I, you know, it's it's not set up on the right timer right now. But after these first six are broken, the next ones will convert. And of course, I, I can I'll basically create a system that pumps them in there. But we apparently are running low on blaze rods, which is going to suck. But anyway, what I'm going to have to do is with with what you guys saw are these are tier three. So I've got you know I think it's eight slots. One, two, three, four. Yeah, eight slots. Same basic setup otherwise. Um, and which is interesting, you can apparently slow the speed down. I didn't know that. That's really cool in these. You can make them fast or slow. I don't know why you would want that otherwise, but that is kind of cool in my book. And what's going to happen is it's going to pipe the, these recipes that I, it's going to take me all day. You, you, you don't understand. Uh, this is a lot. Um, it's going to pipe in the recipes up to that 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 magical area that's actually oops. yeah the magical area that's right above these planks right here i think right yeah um i can't show you because you gotta watch lily's videos and her video is amazing god that i wish i could do that spirally stuff that she does but um but that is gonna have to be done for another video guys um, yeah, I, I wish I could, man, there's so much that happens. I wish I could show you off more and more and all the stuff. I swear her to slime. Anyways, but that's all I got, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave those comments, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye!